stop this week will be to New Smyrna and its opening weekend of the racing season. Gotta love it. The teams and the drivers have been hard at work all this offseason getting their cars and trucks ready for this weekend. New body work, slick paint jobs, and everybody is undefeated. You can't beat that. So with a clean sheet to start the season, let's buckle up and double check all our specs. It's time to go racing at New Smyrna Speedway. The day after Friday the 13th, 13 trucks in the field for the very first race of the season for the trucks. Zach Jarrell in the 18 on the pole with the 15 of Cody Blair next to him on the front row and they're off for 25 laps. Just a couple of laps into this one, we are watching the action around turn three and four and the 17 of Colby Clements goes around. He was okay, but it does bring out the caution. The truck put on a great show and this night was no different. On the restart, Jarrell still leads, but Blair in the 15 goes outside and retakes second place from Logan Bordeaux. But as the field roars by in the backstretch, going through three and four, the blue 9Z of Zach Donati smacks the outside wall. He was okay and would be able to keep on racing. After the restart, we're watching the battle back in the pack, and the last car in this line is the 73 of Jim Campbell, who loops it around, but he does keep it off the wall. Did bring out the yellow, and that's when the fun started. Here is the restart, and let's go to track announcer Mark Keeler. Blair quickly on the gas. Durrell's going to join him down the low side. They make contact. They touch off a of turn four. Blair goes around. Durrell goes around. Heavy damage on Cody Blair's number 15. Let's take another look at this from the low level camera and the 15 truck of Cody Blair gets the worst of the action. He was done for the night and the red 11 of Robert Strader Jr. comes to rest along the inside wall. Okay, now let's put you in the driver's seat of that number 11 truck of Robert Strader Jr. As you can see, this is when the driver has nowhere to go. When everyone gets together that tight like that it makes it exciting for the fans, but Sometimes when some people get too aggressive, uh, all kinds of stuff can happen. So we were an uh, innocent victim of the nowhere to go, and, and here we are with a tangled up race car. So it happens, it's racing. I just wish it didn't happen on the first night of the season. And back to Cody Blair. I think he was saying here that he loves one of the other drivers this much. Or maybe not. After the cleanup, it was back to racing. Three laps to go now. It's the white 96 of Ben Kennedy who has inherited the lead. Zach Jarrell, after being in that last accident, kept on racing but had handling problems. Slapped the wall coming out of four, but no yellow, and everybody would keep on racing. And that meant that nobody was going to catch the white 96 truck. Ben Kennedy wheels around and takes the checkers to win the pro truck race. 